The 379th Air Expeditionary Wing partners with joint and coalition forces with the same goal, accomplish the mission. Soldiers in the 108th Air Defense Artillery, or ADA, train on the Patriot Pac-2 GEMS, or Guided Enhanced Missile Systems, which supports a variety of surface-to-air munitions that counter tactical ballistic and cruise missiles while guarding against advanced aircraft. It's not your basic infantry, go see someone and shoot them. That, that is still part of the critical army. But we have to think of an army as not just a two-dimensional fight. It's now a three-dimensional spear, which controls airspace as well. These air defense systems were first used in Operation Iraqi Freedom. Captain June Lowry, battery commander, explains their responsibility. To support Operation Enduring Freedom, it is to defend the commander's critical assets against air-breathing threats. Uh, we do this through deterrence, and if deterrence fails, we will neutralize those threats. These five-member crews conduct these training drills in order to maintain proficiency and can respond at a moment's notice. Whenever you're back training in the States, you really don't see it that way, but then you get in country and then you apply everything that you've learned so far. It's, it's really good to know that what we do out here does matter. The system's got a lot of little quirks, but while we're out here, it's very reliable. It does its, what, its job, what it needs to do. Yes, I'm actually very proud of what I do because of the consequences if we weren't here, what would actually happen. Uh, the soldiers here on this installation and throughout the theater should sleep very well at night knowing that we are here. Air defenders will continue to advance with technology, allowing for stronger air support from the ground. I'm Technical Sergeant Lisa Carlson, Southwest Asia.